Hello, welcome to the Building eBiz video series. In this video, I'm going to talk about hosting. Um, hosting is, is where you basically put your website, so where you, where you put it on a computer. Um, essentially, you've got a couple of choices. You can host your website in a, in a server farm or off-site, in a third-party location, um, or you can host it in-house. Without doubt, most small businesses that we work with uh, choose a third party, host it off-site. A lot cheaper, a lot more reliable. Local versus overseas hosting. So you can get it hosted, your site hosted in Australia or hosted typically in America is where there's a lot of server farms. The advantage of the US is the hosting is much, much cheaper. So if you're not too worried about the speed of your website, because obviously the further away your website's hosted, the slower it takes customers to get it. If that's not a huge issue for you, and in cases if you've got just a small business, it, the, the amount of milliseconds difference between Australia and US is almost negligible really. Um, might be say 400 milliseconds versus 30 milliseconds, which in a customer experience is not a big deal. Um, ownership and control is important. We recommend small businesses in clients of ours um, go and own, own the hosting themselves. Have a, have a deal with a service provider. Let the, web, let the web company they're using or their internal staff um, deal with that. You know, put the website up on that provider. But you should have a service level agreement with the hosting company yourselves um, so that you're not tied into your web development or your internal staff uh, requirements. Disaster recovery, obviously if you go with a hosting company and they go broke or their server, your server goes underwater or whatever disaster occurs, you need a backup of your website. So what you want to think about doing is getting your web developer or web design company to, to do a backup of your site, but also ask your hosting provider um, what their contingencies are in case of a disaster. How are they backing up your site? What, what, are, their, what are their contingencies for doing that? Costs for hosting, you know, vary from basically free. There are actually places where you can host sites for free with a bit of, bit of advertising that they force at you uh, down down the track, all the way up to you know a thousand, two thousand dollars a month for you know massively fast, super robust, super backed up computers. Um, most small businesses, you should be paying between twenty and a hundred dollars a month for hosting. Um, that should be your range, depending on how fast the server is, how big the server is, how much media you've got. So the, the key things with hosting are how much bandwidth you're using, how much server space that you're taking up, and how much RAM, how fast the brain of the computer that you want to be on is. So if you consider all those things, that'll have, that's how the pricing varies. So up on screen now is five examples of US hosting alternatives you can have a look at. So jot those down and uh, take a look at some of those uh, sites and plans. And now up on the screen is the Australian providers. So have a look at those and uh, those five options and, and have a look, and, and they, they may be you know, what you're looking for. Alternatively, you can do a search on Google for hosting service providers or hosting companies in Australia uh, and you'll find some alternatives there as well. Cheers.